project is a is a framework seven project it's an applied action funded by the european commission it started in, in january the first two thousand and fourteen it's a four-year program and it the focus is about institutional change in scientific subjects in academic institutions so there's a fi five countries from the uk it's Birkbeck, and there are teams in Spain, France, Italy and the Czech Republic. Birkbeck has got uh, a current focus on improving gender equalities. There are a number of initiatives such as the Athena Swan and the Aurora Leadership Program. But what this one is about is improving across the college possibilities of improving the institutional environment, not just specific issues, but a, as a holistic approach to improving gender equality within Birkbeck. More than that, the Trigger board is comprised of senior members of the college, so the executive dean of science, the, the head of HR, in order that they can contribute to the way that we develop our tasks. And that's what we're really trying to discover is, is what, what we can do to make, make things better, better, to find some simple changes that, that will help people. The opening um, piece of research is gender cultures in science and research, where we are looking to explore the specific gender cultures and gender dynamics within science and technology research topics or research areas, research arenas. Um, in the institution. Um, what we are looking to understand and to learn is how people have uh, developed certain trajectories and have come to occupy certain roles, their particular histories and the gender dynamics that have developed over time that they have come to learn over time and, and how these have changed over time as well. One of the, the programmes that's, that's also being developed is the mentoring programme. This is being worked with association with the Athena Swan program and, and with HR to develop an understanding of the different kinds of mentoring with it that are needed at different stages of people's careers. It is about developing future leaders of science who um, grow up in a very different world. You know, we know that there, there has to be a better gender balance in science. So that means both women um, uh, can and should be prepared f for taking on senior roles um, I in scientific organisations, but also men need to be understanding of how to work in more gender balanced teams. And so it's really preparing both men and women for a very different world in the future of science. It's structured around six development workshops that are spread over two years, so it's roughly one, e one a term. Um, but in between those workshops there are um, there's, there's coaching and feedback. Um, so within the workshop there are very experiential exercises, so the activities, uh, games if you like, um, uh, problem solving, working in groups. In the first year we're going to be focusing on, on sort of job application and the, the, the idea of, of, of securing senior roles for, for, uh, for men and women, but again making sure women have a better chance of that. Um, and in the second year uh, we're going to be looking at how to pitch for funds. A task that is unique to Birkbeck is that one relating to the commercialisation of women's intellectual property. University spin-offs and technology transfer are very high on the political agenda, but what we're interested in in Birkbeck is why women are not so successful as men in commercialising their research. So we will be identifying the barriers to this and finding ways to support them. We'll be drawing on the resources of, of UCL, our technology transfer uh, office, and this will be of uh, particular interest to within, within Birkbeck that is developing an entrepreneurial strategy. It's important because gender equality c happens on different levels. On the one level, it certainly happens in our own personal lives as to how we understand gender equality and the role that we play within gender equality. Uh, on the other hand, it also plays a role within the, the particular institutional frame. Um, so gender equality is never something that is completely objective or that can be understood as one size fits all. So. Um, and that's why we have to understand the particular situations and how they have come 
to be and how they still continue to develop over time in this particular place. Um, and that's why we need to understand gender dynamics and at these different levels, so on personal levels, on group levels, and that's why we also need to develop and, uh, and employ various methods to understand and learn about them. We know that some of the leading the researchers uh, have been women, but their numbers have been relatively small. So if the numbers can increase, uh, the scientific and technological uh, potential of the country and of the world will grow.